Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how I created these super cute clear dividers with the scalloped edges. Uh, these are actually for my pocket planner and I've been trying to set it up so I've probably made changes like so many times but hopefully I'll keep this set up. So these are the laminating pouches that I use and this is the laminating machine that I have and I purchased. So this screen recording is of me in design, Cricut Design Space. Now these dividers that I created, I created for my A6 so what I am doing is changing the dimensions. The dimensions that I'm using for my pocket planner is 3.25 by 4.75. Now, I don't know why this one divider is kind of hanging off to the side. Um, they're all, they were all centered, but I don't know what happened to that one. I have to figure it out. But once I change the dim dimensions, I'm just going to go in and get it all cut out. Then the next step is to find a scalloped image. I am just looking for a basic scalloped image and I am going to cut this one as well. And these images, I am a part of the, um, I am a member for the subscription um, and I basically have access to um, lots of images. So now I'm going in, I'm going to change the dimensions to match um, the dimensions of my dividers. So I'm kind of just playing around with the um, width of it. Obviously the height, I'm going to do the height the same as the height of the dividers, but obviously this is way too wide. So I'm kind of just eyeballing it. At this point, I think I am happy with the width, the width of it, so I am going to, yep, I think I'm happy, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it, and that's what you guys will see in the next screen. Oh, yeah, I, um do need to kind of make the um, dividers disappear so only so that I only cut out the scallop edges because I've already cut out the dividers and I'm going to change the project copies to six because I have six dividers so I need six scallop edges and it's all cut out at this point so as you can see it created a very clean cut I'm very very happy and I just um, put one scallop edge off camera but I'll show you guys on camera how easy it was you do have to be very very careful um, because I had accidentally ripped this paper is very thin and if you guys are wondering I did get this paper from Hobby Lobby but yeah be very careful when you're peeling it off because you can accidentally um, rip it but as you can see I'm carefully placing it on the divider just to make sure that it aligns um, correctly. And that's 
it. It was these are super easy, and I think I'm gonna go in and show you guys one more time how I um, place the scallop edges on the dividers. And the paper is so pretty. I'm really into like the the blingy holographic glittery pink stuff right now, so it definitely ma is matching my theme. And that's it. Super happy with how these came out. They're so adorable. And I'm going to punch them and place them in my planner. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy making these, and I'm so glad I documented the process. <laughs>